Hi everyone! Welcome to today's episode of Catching Up with Yosaka Stationery. So, so casual. casual. I'm back from my little retreat mm -hmm. in Japan with family, with uh, Neil and Jacob and Neil's family. And yeah, it feels good to be back. I'm so happy to have you back. Ah, I mean, I, I. Me and Alex were great. Yes! Wonderful. So they did great! Wonderful. Yeah, I saw the Co comments about yes. how people were loving their presence mm -hmm. on catching mm -hmm. up. So, but nothing I'm sure. replaced. Okay. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I was gonna say, it's so nice to have you back. Yay. It's good to be back. It's good to be back. I was, um, feeling a little homesick at the end no, of really? our trip. Aww. Yeah, a little bit, you know, I was missing Esther for sure. Um, so it is, it does feel, it feels good to be back and it was great to um, see all of you guys again as well. So it's great to be back. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. <laughs> so glad, so glad. And you guys had a good time. I mean, I'm, so, yeah. Yeah. Good time. Okay. Yes. Um, I can't wait to go back. Japan is mm -hmm. amazing. It wasn't my first time there, but it was my right. first time there as an adult. Right. And it's a lot different when you have um, when you can choose like where you can mm -hmm. go, where you want to go, and like what you want to buy and things like that. Oh, so yeah. going as an adult is really different to um, going as a student when mm -hmm. everything is a little bit more limited, I would say. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, it was just amazing to, I love experiencing new things with Jacob. Oh. And this was like the ultimate new experience. Like every yeah. every single thing was new to mm -hmm. him and it was really fun to just be able to like watch him in all of these new places, meeting new people, like meeting family members that he's never met before um, yeah and we also made um, a bunch of like stationary stops along the way yeah you guys did a lot of fun visits yes traveler yeah yes um, Hobonichi, Hobonichi. Um, we saw we saw Bungu Box. We met yeah, um, Karu right. and Bruce mm -hmm. there. Um, am I forgetting anybody? We oh, met up with. Uh, well, you visited Itoya. We visited Itoya, which was so amazing. Like their store is. It's clearly been around for, it's just an institution mm. in like the mm. Japanese stationery world. Mm. So, and stepping into it, it was like, wow, it was like, <laughs> it was like a well-oiled machine. Like everything mm. in that store like had a place and like, it was just incredible. Um, so cool to be able to see all of these things and um yeah I, I feel like it was a really good trip and we also hung out with uh cy mm -hmm. which yeah. i have to give a shout out to cy i love of him course. yeah cy and akane mm -hmm. um and yeah i i think one of the highlights for me was probably being able to visit hobonichi mm -hmm. um at their headquarters and meet with the team, um, we got to like plan our meeting to coincide with one of their weekly meetings. Apparently, like oh. this group of like around 30 people meet weekly to discuss like Hobonichi updates and like mm -hmm. to see to plan the year ahead. Mm -hmm. um, and so it was really cool to be able to meet like the director of the whole program, who's so a cool. woman. So and, cool. Um, I I was delighted by the fact that everyone on the team had a Hobonichi. <laughs> like every everyone. Like not just not just like a not just a planner, but like everybody had a cover. Yeah, um, I was decked out. Decked like, out. Completely decked out, very personalized, clearly in use, and it just brought joy. It just brought joy to be able to see all of these people on the Hobonichi team, like truly mm -hmm. like using Hobonichi. Practitioners, truly. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's so cool. Yeah, it is really, it was really cool. It was a highlight for me. Mm -hmm. um, and I also got to see some of the upcoming styles. So, <gasps> yeah, so, we, have a, we have a cute year ahead, uh -huh. let me just say. <laughs> Secrets, secrets, secrets. Yeah, um, yeah. But we'll have more 
Hobonichi information. Soon, actually. Yeah, Hobonichi Queen. Mm -hmm. Tell us more. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just keep your ears peeled, your eyes and ears peeled. Yeah. Well, I think we can say that we have placed our order yes. for Hobonichi planners, yes. um, which, as you all know, will be released September 1st. Mm -hmm. So I did get to see the styles in person um, when I was in when I was in so Japan, cool. and then you got to see um, the styles as well like when we were digital. doing the order. Yeah, digital um, version. Yeah, so I'm, I have a few favorites. Mm -hmm. Yeah, me too, definitely. Yeah, so okay. I'm excited to see them yes. here. Yeah, and to share them with all of you. Oh, that's so cool. So many things you guys did in Japan. That's so fun. Yes, yes, yes. And I brought back giant Pocky. Oh, yeah, there's mine. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody's like, this is like, it's like this, it's bigger than a pen. Okay. Yeah. It's, um, these are Pocky sticks. They come in single package. And this one, as you can tell, I've already been eating. <laughs> Munching on the melon. But you it's should just, show how thick it is. It is when so you like... thick. Wow. Oh, I just broke it. Oops. <laughs> um, I can uh, smell the melon. It's not, like really strong. It's a melon, like a cantaloupe flavored poppy. And it's ginormous. And the first time I took a bite out of this, I was just like mind blown with the explosion of melon flavor going on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. yours is matcha. I do want to eat it. It's hot in here. It's, it's not getting a little melty. melty. Whoa! Whoa! Look at how huge that is. Hot. What the heck? Yeah. So many snacks in Japan. Oh my god. We have like a suitcase full of snacks that we brought back for everybody. Okay, well that was my trip to Japan. Let me know if you have more questions in the comments. I did see like somebody's comment was like, please post a travel vlog about travel tips for the toddler. Um, mm. I don't know how many of you would be interested in that, but if you have questions specifically for me about that, I'd be happy to share. So send us an email about that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or leave a comment. Yeah, or leave a comment. I'm happy to like, share my experience. So well, speak. while you were away and coming back, we mm -hmm. had a lot of special things happen, yeah. including a special release of dun -da -dun, dun -da -dun. Pentel Energel Philography. Philography. Yosaka Green Philography. Edition. And yeah, this one was, was very cute. You guys had a whole... Um, I guess experience with the philography. Mm -hmm. You have a history with history. the philography. Yeah, I, I have a history a with history. the philography. <laughs> but this um, collaboration was um, the, the collaboration was like just very cool to see. Yeah, yeah, Enjoy. yeah. Um, I just shot an unboxing for this the other day, so mm -hmm. that's coming soon to our channel. Um, but. Yeah, the, the Philography is a Pentel Energel pen with a metal body. It has like a brass body, so it has weight to it, and it's like a really nice, sleek looking pen. Um, and we've just had this pen at Yoseka for so long, and it's just like Neil and I introduced this pen at Yoseka back in our pop-up days and I still remember when it was like one of our fancy pens mm. and you know like people would be like oh I need a gift for my dad or like I'm um, you know somebody's <laughs> graduating yeah, yeah yeah and this would be like a great pen to recommend and lots of people liked it because it's like a gel pen that dries quickly mm -hmm. so it has like the smooth writing qualities of a gel pen but it still dries quickly like a ballpoint pen so it's kind of a bit of a crowd pleaser I would say and it also just like it's, it makes me feel nostalgic about the early days of Yoseka Aww. so um, I'm happy to introduce this pen to anybody who's not familiar with it in our Yoseka green color to match all of your other Yoseka green items <laughs> that we're introducing this year. So many. Yeah so um, be sure to check out our upcoming unboxing video for a closer look at the philography but this is something that was released last week that um, our team is all really proud of. Yes. Well, also last week we introduced a couple of new members. Oh my gosh, that's right. Yeah. We have everyone. two new members of the team. Mm -hmm. Michelle and Susan. That everyone finally got to meet. Mm -hmm. Although Susan had a little bit of an intro introduction in our Right, because she was video. in the planner video. Mm -hmm. Right, right, right. And they've both been helping out in the store as well. So I think some people have already, you know, had Susan or Michelle help them out in the store a little bit. So yeah. 
It's like another level of introduction. Yeah. Yeah. And both Susan and Michelle are super talented artists yes. and they have, um, they're both very active um, in, I guess, pursuing their independent artistry. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how to say it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, they, um, they uh, participate in lots of pop-up artist markets and things like that. So um, we'll put their Instagram handles here for you to check out their artwork and support them, please. Yeah. If you are a fan of their style, I love I love adding new members to the team. Yes, I've said this fun. before. I love it. It's like yeah. an infusion of new energy to the team, yes. which I like, which I just love. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So other than that, you guys were busy last week <laughs> while, while picking up slack for me and Neil while we were off gallivanting in Japan. Um, you managed to add some new stationery, right? Yes. So. We did. <laughs> I'm not an expert on any of these because I wasn't here. Um, so I'm please. Like, I'm like, hand them over, yeah. hand them over. Yeah. I want to talk about these first. Okay. Because these were like so cute. Um, new Lennon Toolbar inks. Yes, new Lennon Toolbar inks. Da -da. These are their summer limited edition inks. I, I always love the oh. artwork. I always love the illustrations that they have on their ink bottle, like labels. So fun. It's so cute. Yeah. And, and this collection is a uh, continuation of the Spirits collection that they had a uh, couple of seasons back. So yeah. two seasons back. And those talked about some like, you know, folklore, fairy tale uh, type things. Like There's like the pen, pen fairy. Things. Yeah, yeah. Ant chair. Yes. The yeah. tiger one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So those are a lot of fairy tales that I guess are very um, common in Taiwan. And so these are more about like the guardian spirits, I guess, again, but like, I really love this one. It's a little sad, but it's like heartwarming in the end. What's that one called? So this one's Cat General. Cat General. General. I'll show the, the bottle. Oh. Matching kind of artwork. And this is the color. Ooh, it's a nice color. Such a nice color. And this one is about uh, the spirits of cats that were not properly laid to rest by uh, their owners. Ah! So they became like malevolent, but then over time <gasps> became guardians of the community. Oh. So it's like it has a sad beginning, but a happy ending. Yeah. But the color of this one, I think, is probably my favorite out of the collection. Mm, yeah. So there's that one. Yeah. And then this one is really funny. This one's called Bird, Bird Monster. Monster. I know it's really wild, but I love it because obviously it does look like a bird monster. It's a bird monster. It's like an angry bird. Mm -hmm. And in the tale, it talks about a warning severed head of, of the a bird. bird. Yeah. And so this is one of the ones that are a little, a little like, um, say malevolent again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, so there's like the nice, like they have nice a grudge. Yes. 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 <laughs> the nice spirits and the less nice spirits. <laughs> okay. Um, so that's that one. So cool. And then this one is the catfish. Ooh, I like that spirit. color. Yeah, it's a very like love that. purple, purplish one. This is the bottle. Mm -hmm. And so that one's just like a nice, very subtle one. Like grayish purple. Mm -hmm. I love grayish purple. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's unpredictable. <laughs> and then last but not least, this is the rabbit god. Rabbit god. And this one, is a protector of the LGBT community, which is like very sweet. Like I, I'm, you know, that Lennon Toolbar released this ink. It's so bright in person. This yeah. pink, yeah, is it really super, is super, super like neon. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's so cool. Mm -hmm. I love, I love how Lennon Toolbar keeps like kind of finding these very like not often talked about aspects of Taiwanese culture because mm. people, I think, like really embrace food um, mm -hmm. from lots of um, 
cultures around the world, but there's a lot more than that. And I think these, like I've, I've never even heard of, and my parents are from Taiwan, but um, I wasn't raised with these spirits or like I never was taught about them. So mm -hmm. it's interesting that I've learned so much from what it's so far about true. Taiwan. So mm -hmm. I really appreciate them doing that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What else? You have, um, I guess we have some new Sailor ink pens. Sailor ink pens. Yes. So these are two like very blue colors. So this, for anyone who doesn't know, um, Sailor has a collection of 100 fountain pen inks called Sailor Ink Studio with lots of like different numbers, mm -hmm. um, three yeah. digit numbers, all unique obviously. And um, last year they started to introduce these uh, brush pens that are inspired by those ink colors. So, so far there have been like two or three sets, right? Mm -hmm. And now we're seeing um, more sets two. from them. Mm -hmm. I like, I, are they gonna keep going? I don't know. <laughs> they got a lot of colors. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, that is a lot of colors. And these are like covering all the bluish, yeah. bluish ones. I know this is a, a popular Love that color. color. I, yeah, that's beautiful. 462. 462. Yeah. So good. Such a good color. Uh, but yeah, these um, Sailor ink pens are kind of following the theme of Sailor and the Sea. So all of the names for the different sets kind of, you know, match the maritime do they all side. do they yeah. all mm -hmm. oh wow um like loosely okay you know, there's one here i can't remember which one actually is sea foam so that's like Ooh. kind of matching it but this one would make more sense I yeah like. it's the japanese word for sea foam we okay. don't really have a like accurate translation for like the foam that comes up when the water like crashes Mm -hmm. Onto land. Yeah, I think sea foam is like the best translation, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So that is that. That's so cool. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, that's gonna be it's like one hundred colors. Three out of one hundred. <laughs> that. I love this depiction. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's so funny. Um, cool. All right. We also have a new fountain pen from. Nagasawa. Yes. This is cool. Yeah. So this one is the Nagasawa 3776, which is the style that Platinum produces. And so it's that same classic Platinum nib and body mm -hmm. that you can see. But what's special about the Nagasawa one is it obviously it has the Nagasawa like engraving and detailing on the nib, the Nagasawa pen style on the band and then it's a matte finish and i hope it translates well i think you can tell right yeah it's not um so like you can tell because the grip is actually not matte finish mm -hmm. so when you look at the grip it's like reflecting light versus the cap and they're the same color mm -hmm. but the cap is matte sandblast finish and then um the grip is not matte mm -hmm. and this reminds me of um Interesting the timing because like this this is very like the shape of heart that white mm -hmm. one mm -hmm. they just released uh, platinum just released shape of heart in the sandblast finish and it was also that one's obviously all white mm -hmm. and it's completely matted um, so I wonder if Nagasawa saw that and right after was yeah. like I want to make one of those <laughs> like, let's, do, let's do that too um, so it's really cool and it's called Pen Style obviously they have a they have like part of their store where they keep all the fountain pens is called mm. pen style. Pen style den. I that, think that's what it's called. I've always wondered. Yeah. Because I, I would try and like research online. Yeah. Oh. I did not know. Yeah. I came pen across that when I was doing this den. coding history. Yeah. <laughs> pen style den is where you shop for fountain pens within the Nagasawa stationery oh, store. Gotcha. Because yeah. they have that on almost, I think, all of their. Yes. Their A lot of their pens. pens say that somewhere. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow, exactly. cool. Mm -hmm. Very, very cool. Yeah. Um, okay, cool. Well, I think that's about it for all the new Lee Odyssey Shea, right? I'm not forgetting anything. No. Okay. That is it. Okay, cool. Um, do you have a favorite, Ashley? Oh, actually, yes, I do. Um, 
the the collection of inks mm -hmm. from Lennon Toolbar are my favorite mm -hmm. and I know I said I liked the cat general color mm -hmm. and the story but I actually already bought the bird monster ink. <gasps> the, I, bought I, the love, I love the color of the I bird monster. The wow, color. you know like when somebody on our team buys a bottle of ink, that's really saying something it's because really they have at their fingertips every single every color, single like access, like they, they can use any. Because <laughs> we're making samples, we have open bottles that we use for mm -hmm. the swatches. But you you committed to the I whole bottle of this. this. Wow. Immediately. Wow. Well, mostly because I also I love the packaging for it so mm, much. Like, okay. Yeah. You I, don't get the packaging if you don't buy the bottle. Yes, exactly. Huh? And I was like, look at that. I need to have that <gasps> on my desk oh at all God. times. You should do um, an ink swatch video and do your own bird monster bird sketch. Monster sketch. Yeah. Oh, so cute. <laughs> maybe, maybe. So that's definitely my favorite. Yeah. You had, you had to get the bird one, obviously. You had to get the bird one. Yeah. Obviously. I was telling Ashley that while I was in Japan, like, birds are birds are such a thing there. Mm -hmm. um, and every time I saw a bird, I just wanted to buy it for you. Like, a bird thing. Not like a bird, but like a bird. <laughs> I, buy a living yeah, bird. Like, please bring take back this pigeon home for Ashley. <laughs> She'll love it. I mean, I would. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, you guys brought back a, a snack. Mm -hmm. in the shape of a bird yes. it was like a peep but it was filled with like white bean filling it was so good really i haven't had it yet i felt a little sad eating it <gasps> we have more i'll just give you another one it was so good oh good it was really cute it was so cute it was, it was so plump yes. you know like it was the way it was so plump yeah, yeah so cute so cute <laughs> um i mean i think that like i think this is really cool that we were able to make a philography pen mm -hmm. um just, it's one of those things that it's also made in Taiwan, which I forgot to mention, but you know, back when we were doing pop-ups, like it was just something that I was really proud to tell people is that like this pen is actually made in Taiwan, even though Pentel's obviously a Japanese company. Mm -hmm. um, the philography model is made in Taiwan. And yeah, I, I personally really, really like Energel ink. It's yes. super smooth, super consistent. Um, so, I'm a big fan of writing with Energel pens, and this one is kind of just nice as like a slightly nicer pen. Yeah, you know, it feels nice yeah. to hold and to write nice. with. It does feel nice, yeah. I'm excited to yeah. write with it. It does feel very smooth. I tried writing with it. Yeah. Super nice. Yeah, I also love that like Energel refills are super compatible with other, with Energels. Mm -hmm. Like, so you can switch between lots of different types of Energel refills mm -hmm. and it'll all work within this pen. I think that's one of the coolest features of Energel, mm -hmm. you know, because sometimes refills can be confusing. Like, I don't know how many times I've helped a customer and be like, I bought the Jetstream refill thinking that it would work with my Jetstream multi pen, but it actually doesn't, you know, or something yeah. like that. Like, mm -hmm. like, oh, actually, it's the wrong refill. Yeah, I'm sorry. So sorry. Yeah, I'm so sorry. I know it's confusing, mm -hmm. but um, that doesn't happen with Energel. Yes. Yeah. So I'm a fan. Very nice. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Um, other than that, in the store this past weekend, it was my first weekend back in the store mm -hmm. and it was nice to kind of get back in the swing of things and catch up on things a little bit. And I have to give a shout out, um, not, to, not to any one person I met in store, but before I left, um, we did a catching up and I was like sort of nervous about traveling with Jacob. So yeah. in my nervousness, I kind of just like blurted out if anybody has any travel tips for a toddler, yes. please do share. Yes. And to my surprise, like people commented right away mm -hmm. with tips. So I want to shout out anyone who commented with tips, but especially oh, yeah. our good customer, Ruth. Um, oh, yeah. Who also like writes us letters all the time. Mm -hmm. So I love you, Ruth, for doing that. Like it's, it's so nice. Nice. Like, it's so nice when like people write you guys like a personalized letter. I feel yeah. like I always feel happy like giving you a personal letter from a customer. Um, so much. Yeah, Ruth does that a lot. So Ruth, um, you wrote me like a whole paragraph on how to travel with a toddler, and um, one of the things that you said was um, to check with. Jacob's doctor, obviously, but administering a little bit of like some Benadryl yeah, or like yeah. some, uh, some melatonin or something would be okay. And, um, you know, it's always just nice to get a little, to know that other people are thinking of that too, mm -hmm. that it's okay. Um, and just like all the tips you told me to pack, to get him a backpack and packing mm -hmm. some of his favorite items and his favorite snacks. 
Um, and you just like really reassured me with how um, toddlers get a bad rep for um, being bad travelers because Jacob actually did okay. That's he did good. okay. I, I was telling my friends, he wasn't annoying to anyone else on the flight except me. <laughs> like, he wasn't bothering anyway. It's not like he was crying the whole time. Yeah. Um, but we didn't, I, I, we were silly and we didn't get him a seat, so he was on my lap the whole time. Oh. So that did end up being like a lot of work for me. But um, next time we know, next time we know. And it wasn't, it wasn't too bad. It wasn't too bad at all. So Rue, thank you so much for all your words of wisdom and just for like really reassuring me right before my trip that things will be okay. I really needed to hear those words and I was reading it all. I was taking notes on your paragraph. <laughs> yeah, that's so good. I saw that and I was like, oh man, I hope Daisy saw us before the flight took off. I really read all of those comments. Yeah, yeah. Um, I did, I did. And Adventure Denali, she also commented yes. that I should get Jacob a little um, like weekly medicine organizer and pack each of the days with one of his favorite snacks so that he could have fun like That's opening so each of the cute. compartments. Oh, wow. Yeah, so um, please, thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> That's amazing. Love you guys. Love the the little community. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I think that's about it for this week. It's so good to be back. And um, I'm sure next week you'll see even more from us as we get more back, back in the swing of things. things yeah. You know, um, things will get into a good flow again here. But you guys, it's so great without me and Neil. Yeah, with May, with did Alex, the whole team. The yes. whole team. You did amazing. And lots of people said that too. So, uh, yeah. Great. Just know that. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you so much. And we will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.